<laughs> I just watched um, Graham Mertz for the Florida Gators score the touchdown. In garbage time. <laughs> in, gar in garbage time. <laughs> oh, my God. Georgia came up in there being straight. <laughs> Georgia came in. Georgia came into Jacksonville to play the Florida Gators in straight. Lube, lube or no lube. <laughs> Florida Gator fans, baby lizards, baby lizards, where y'all at? Y'all told me Georgia for the past couple weeks have been um so close to losing and that, uh, you know, y'all going to be the one to knock them off. I've been telling y'all all week, y'all don't have a chance. Uh, Georgia's on the 24 win streak. It's going to be 25. Y'all been hyping y'all selves up, talking about Graham Mertz going to do this, Graham Mertz going to do that. <laughs> they don't have, they don't have Brock Bowers. <laughs> they, don't, they don't have Brock Bowers. <laughs> but you know who they do got? Carson Beck and McConkey. <laughs> McConkey. <laughs> Florida Gators, Gator fans, Gator fans. Listen, my mom and Hurricane, we won. We won. Struggle win, struggle win. We struggled. Now, I know y'all going to come on here with your moral victory head ass telling me that, hey, Georgia's the number one team in the country. Y'all just went in overtime with Virginia. But here you go laughing. I keep trying to tell y'all, quit trying to, compare my team and your team like we playing each other. We not playing each other. I could clown you guys even if we would have lost today. You got blown out. <laughs> you, got, you got whooped. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia literally told y'all find any tree in this parking lot, go cut me a switch and bring it back so I can whoop your <laughs> with it. <laughs> Gator fans. Gator fans. Guess who's bowl eligible today and guess who's not? Miami's bowl eligible. Six wins. Six and two. Remember, remember last year we was five and seven and y'all told us, oh, this year we're gonna be terrible. I told y'all. After Georgia whoop y'all, I don't see another win on y'all schedule. Um, you know, Arkansas might be promising to y'all, but everybody else, it looks like an L to y'all. Y'all might end the season five and seven. Five and seven. Or six, or six and six, one of them. That's, listen, Florida fans, y'all should be happy about that because you'll be basically going above the expectation. Your expectation this week, this year, I'm sorry, was four wins. Y'all was projected, projected, and predicted to go four and eight. Not just by me, but all the experts. I said it first. I said it first. I said y'all was going four and, <laughs> and eight first. Everybody else started agreeing with it once y'all saw it on ESPN and um, SEC Network. But I told y'all y'all was terrible. I told you you was a mighty young team. You're going to make mistakes. And after last year losing your bowl game, 30 to um, 3, y'all finally accepted y'all was in rebuild mode. Billy's been recruiting well. I give that to y'all. But I told y'all y'all are very young. 4 and 8 is the expectation. You already went above the expectation. Tennessee gifted you a game. Tennessee, which y'all been living off of Tennessee for the whole year, thinking that the luck that you had against Tennessee, you're going to have it. The luck that you had last week against South Carolina at home, which they gave you the game. They had a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. They gave it up to y'all. That, that's tough. That's tough. Florida, you are a four-win team, but you went above expectation. You thought you was going to beat the Georgia Bulldogs. The only Bulldogs in Georgia that you probably would, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think you're going to beat any Bulldogs. I think at this point, y'all are scared of the Bulldogs. None of you Florida fans have talked any trash this week. Y'all trash talking has been non-existent. Some of your fans, the delusional ones, I love them delusional ones. Ooh, they give me a lot of things to talk about. But Florida, God dang it, Florida. The... Wasn't the um the spread 14? 14. You really try to lose this game by 24. 
<laughs> y'all really, <laughs> y'all are terrible, absolutely terrible. And Georgia didn't do nothing special this game. They didn't have to. This game was literally like playing the first couple four games when you don't have like a marquee matchup. This was like playing uh, Georgia Southern. This was like playing uh, Bethune Cookman. This was like playing a team like Temple. <laughs> Georgia really made y'all look like a cupcake team. They, Graham Mertz, they gave Graham Mertz. Uh, <laughs> Georgia, y'all are very, y'all are very um generous. Y'all let that man score just to make him feel better about himself. Y'all trying to convince this man that he's not as terrible as he is so he could come back next year. <laughs> Florida Gators, Florida Gators. Where did the dinks and dunks get you this game? Where where did dinks and dunks get you? I told y'all, y'all quarterback throwing dinks and dunks. He looks great. Y'all keep telling me y'all got a Heisman quarterback. whoop de dee doo <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Florida Gator fans, man, keep your head up. Hold your head up. Hold your head up high. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. Goddamn baby lizards. <laughs>